What is going on? Danny Tide to me here. Um, and I'm going to do a review of Lecrae's new album, Restoration. Um, I'm not going to play anything from the album, um, but uh, I do want to give a review on it. Now, I'm going to try my best to not give any spoilers. If I do, I apologize for those that have not heard it. But if you have heard it, then yeah, that's dope. Um, and one of the main reasons why I want to do this review why I chose this uh, to review, because this is my first review. Um, I chose it for one reason primarily, maybe two, but primarily one. Um, I like the album so much that I actually purchased the album. And it's been a while since I've heard an album and wanted to purchase it. So first off, off the back, that was special about this album. Um, and Another reason why I'm doing an album review, I was going to review songs, but just like they were all good, you know, <laughs> it was too many um, that were good. So I was like, well, I don't want to upload a bunch of videos. So let me just do an album review. So, yeah, let's get into it. And then I want to know what you think in the comments. Give this video a like, um, share the review, um, like the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh or the page, like the page, subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna upload it on my Facebook and YouTube. So, um, yeah. Off the bat, let's talk about this artwork. And I put the artwork over here. That artwork is just dope to me. I've always liked the concept of artwork without the, um, without text on it. I'm a fan of artwork with no text. I've done it before. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it a lot in the future um, with my music, release artwork um, with, no, with no text. I, I just love that idea. And the name of the album is Restoration. And based off of what he talks about, from what he talks about in the album, the artwork goes so perfectly with it because in order to be restored, if you're talking about it, because um, of Cray is a CHH artist, a Christian artist, um, when you're talking about being restored, restoration comes first through surrendering or repentance to the love of Christ. And then you're able to be restored in whatever it is, you know, and from what he's talking about restored, uh, the artwork just, just shows, and I got the track list on my phone. So I'm going to go on down the track list on my phone, whatever, but, um, and he's talking about being restored. So the artwork shows that he's surrendering or, like that. that's that's what I get from it, my interpretation. So the first track is Restore Me, um, a minute and 16 seconds long. Um, just that song, and 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 I heard that song because I went to stream it first. I didn't go first to purchase it, I went to stream it first, right? And hearing that song, I was I was drawn in from the first track from Restore Me. It's only a minute and 16 seconds long but it's an amazing song so i was like yo yeah I, I from that song i knew i was gonna like this album because what i heard from lecrae previously um especially his bodies of, of of work it did not sound like this album this sounded like something totally different lecrae was in his bag big time he leveled up you could tell that um he really went in on this album and really went transparent on his album and he dug deep within himself to deliver this body of work and so i was impressed from the first track um set me free featuring uh yk osiris and i've heard a uh um a little bit of yk's music i'm familiar with the name but i can't say i'm familiar with any of his personal bodies of work but set me free dope I, and and the thing about this album that I really like, I love the transparency, but I love the way that he delivered the content through from his wordplay, from his bar choice, the feature choice, the sound choice, beat selection. Um, I just love that. It was, it was, it was, it was, it, it reminded me, honestly, it reminded me of, um, of, uh, uh, J. Cole's Forest Hill Drive, the way that they pulled you into this moment of time within their life. You, you basically went into a period of, of time within Lecrae's life and he kept you there, you know, and, 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 and he, yeah, he might've gotten over whatever it was that he was going through at the time, but for this album, you was in that period of time that he was going through. And I love that. 
you know, it, it takes a really special uh, uh, type of artist to do that. You know, not just a rapper. Lecrae displayed that he's an artist on this project. Um, and it really impressed me, this project. And I didn't skip a single song. Like, every time I listen to this album, I go top to bottom. I may replay a song or, I, I you know, may repeat, repeat a song, but I'm not skipping anything. I don't skip anything on this. Um, Wheels Up. So by the time I was streaming this album, I got the Wheels Up, which is the third track. I was I told my wife I was in the car with the kids and my wife is in there and I'm just bugging out the whole time. I'm listening to this. I said I'm buying the album. I'm I'm buying it. Before I went on, I said I'm buying this because I wanted to like really give it a deep listen. And you can only do that when you buy a track in my opinion. I can't do it with streams, especially if you stream it from a, a service that has ads. I was on YouTube streaming it and I said I'm not doing the ad thing. I, I don't want anything to interrupt this listening experience. So I went and purchased it. Um, over the top. Now that song is a, it's a little more, it kind of breaks, you know, the mode a little bit from what you heard in the first three. But it fit. You know, it fit, especially with, you know, the story that he's telling. Um, and I'm not going to talk about what he spoke about just in case someone's listening that watching that hasn't heard the album. But over the top, um, who's featuring on over? Who's featured on over the top? Oh, that's Wheels Up with Marky e. Bazy. I don't know who that who that guy is. Oh no, no one's on over the top. He doesn't have a feature on over the top, but that beat is hard too. Because when I first heard it, it kind of reminded me of what we're hearing now from a lot of these younger artists. So at first listen. Music that sounds like that to me, I, I, I tend to not pay attention to it because it doesn't speak. When you first hear a beat that sounds like over the top, you don't expect to hear lyrics <laughs> from a beat like that. You just don't expect to hear lyrics. But that song was actually dope, man. Over the top was dope. Self-discovery. Look, I w I'm, I'm listening to this album. And I made it to self-discovery, right? Which is one, two, three, four. Song number five is self-discovery. I made it to self uh, to No, I was on uh, Wheels Up, actually. I was on the third song. I call one of my best friends, right? I call him. This man said, as soon as I call him, he's like, why are you interrupting me while I'm listening to Lecrae's album? I started just, I, I lost it. I lost it, because I'm like, yo, I'm doing the same thing. He said, yo. Keep listening. When you get to self-discovery, you're going to love that track. And I was like, all right. I made it to self-discovery. By far one of my favorites. I love every, I like every, every, every track on here. But self-discovery is by far one of my favorites because he went to like, you know, him discovering himself. And, and, and which is another reason why I like this project because what you hear from a lot of CHH artists is sometimes like, it's kind of like they're speaking from an out, exterior perspective giving you content all that content is from an exterior perspective and uh over came perspective per se you don't hear a lot of artists talking from a uh, uh exterior perspective i'm in it going through it you know what i'm saying and this body of work was so dope to me because lecrae was giving you a perspective of i'm i'm done i made it through something I'm, i've been restored but it's called restore me the name of the track i mean it's called restoration i'm sorry and the first track is called restore me because he's saying hey this is where i'm at restore me so he like i said he took you in this time piece and gave you this content which he took you in, it, it sounds like a time piece he took you in this period of time in his life and he's giving you this content from it which is pretty dope self-discovery was by far one of my favorites um deep end It just gave you this like vintage, I'm vibing feel, man. Like, and I think there was a sample in Deep End. I don't know where that sample came from. I've been trying not to go off the deep end. I can't sing, whatever. But yeah, I think that was, I, that's a, I don't think anyone's saying that. I think that was a sample. I don't know where it came from, but that was dope. It was kind of slower, slowed down the pace a little bit. Um, from from uh self-discovery slowed down a little bit but it was still dope it was still dope and 
I don't know who sets his track list up, who he consulted with his track list, or if it's just all him. But they did a bang up job. If you can't tell, I'm thoroughly impressed with this album. I haven't bought, and I told my homeboy this, I've been off of CHH for a minute. I just wasn't listening to CHH. I didn't hear anything that impressed me too much. There's been some good stuff drop. I'm a huge fan of AHA Gazelle, and every time he drops, I, I, I like everything AHA drops. Um, but I haven't really, I haven't been impressed too much with CHH. So I wasn't listening to it. Like I just kind of went off from it. And I knew Lecrae was coming out with his album. It kind of snuck up on me because I didn't know the release date. Um, but he really impressed me with this album so much. Like, it's just crazy. Drown, I mean, if you've been following his uh, drops, Drown, he dropped with John Legend. That was a single off the project, which was really dope. Honestly, I'm, I see why he chose Drown as a single because it has John Legend on it. You know, it's John Legend. That's your single, <laughs> no matter what it sounds like. Um, but there were other tracks on here that I felt were a better choice for a single wise. But I mean, I understand why you chose Drown. If I got a John Legend song, no matter what it sounds like, it's a single from whatever project. It's John Legend. Um, Saturday Night. Oh, my. That song is two minutes and seven seconds long. And I'm pissed about it because it was two minutes and seven seconds long. But it was one of the hardest songs one of my favorite songs on the project saturday night the song was dope this dude josie jazzy j-o-z-z-y i don't know how you say his name oh my gosh it just sounds like a it sounds like it needs to that song just gives me a vinyl feel like I just can see a, a record player just going around and you hear the crackling of the vinyl it just sounds like a. I wonder if this is on vinyl because artists are dropping vinyls I wonder if this is on vinyl I will buy a record player just to hear this on vinyl like no cap for real and I'm not just bigging up this because it's Lecrae because it, before this I wasn't buying Lecrae's album albums I think the I bought um not like that. I wasn't. Oh, what was the other one? Anomaly. I think I bought Anomaly, but I stopped listening to a lot, an Anomaly. You know what I'm saying? It just felt like one of them records where it was just, you know, I feel like Restoration. It, it definitely has a classic feel. I really feel like that. And and he continues dropping like this. Lecrae will definitely no cap man. He would definitely be one of the top artists in in hip hop, like hands down. Um, Saturday night, dope. And I think he's off Columbia now too. He was signed to Columbia. His Vlad interview, he said that he's not signed to Columbia anymore. So that may be a reason why he dropped the album like this. I don't know, but it could be. It could be because he's not signed to Columbia anymore. Um, Sunday morning. So right after Saturday night, we got Sunday morning featuring Kurt Franklin. <laughs> and Kurt, Kurt, Kurt had a little um, piece in there, man. That was dope. Kurt went in on there, man. I'm not gonna tell you what he said. You gotta listen to it. And I'm not being paid to review this album either. Um, but uh, Kurt Franklin, man, he 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 killed it. Uh, and Sunday morning was good. Nice little skit before Sunday morning, which I thought was pretty dope. That was creative. Um, uh, one of, it's. Sunday morning, I do enjoy that song. I'm not gonna say it's one of my faves off the project, but like what he was talking about was really dope. But it's definitely up there. How long is this project? I think it got 14 tracks on it. Yeah, 14 songs. 14 songs. So it's not, it wasn't like what people dropped them 10, you know, 10 uh, song albums. This was a full album. Like he literally, went in full the only thing i would say about this drop is because is is that i hate that he dropped it during covid season because you can't really promote or go into the on the ground like you would if everything wasn't closed off doing runs and tours and stuff like that uh signings you kind of don't get that because and he dropped the dvd with a documentary with it which is another reason why it gives me that j cole force hill drive feel because he went all out with this 
with 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 this marketing with the visuals visuals with how he's dropping it what he was dropping you know he did a, a documentary with it so i mean it's just like you hate that you dropped it during covid season but you know what i'm saying what you're gonna just not drop nah you're gonna drop we're gonna do it so i, I that's that's pretty dope zombie of course that was a dope track too <sighs> and you can you can tell this man has been just like following like his music influences because as soon as that you play that you just hear a chance as soon as you play that you just and it's not i'm not saying he's biting chance or he's trying to be like chance but i mean you've you've heard chance so like that's what it reminds you of but that's dope and me you know i like music like that i like music that i can feel i like music with you know real to it i like bars i like lyrics and i'm not gonna lecrae is in one of them punchline like barry rapper but he's great at storytelling and he's and he's witty with his with his words. So I mean and that was dope. Keep going, of course, man. And these songs aren't like crazy long. What was the, the longest he has is like four wheels up. It's four minutes. Sunday morning is four minutes. You know? He has a lot of two minutes, two forty, two twenty seven, three twenty with John Legend, three forty eight, only human. With BJ the Chicago Kid, which is dope. He was on a uh, Chance track. I like him. I want to say BJ the Chicago Kid was on a um. Oh, what's that dude's name? Another big rapper. I forget his name, but he was on a track with him too. Um, it's gonna come to me later on. I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna blurt out a name randomly, y'all. And it's it's that. Keep going was dope. Still with Danny Leah. Yo, that that song still. <sighs> oh my gosh. If we, and, and Lecrae drops a song about his wife in almost every song, and still is that song. That's the that's the song right there that I was thinking. Why didn't he make that a single? But I understand why he didn't make it a single. I understand why he didn't make it a single. It does sound like a single song. It sounds like a radio song. I'm pretty sure in the future, in the future, down the line, we're going to hear still in in uh you know in things on the radio, uh in videos and movies and stuff like that. We're gonna hear still. Um I won't be surprised if we see him perform still on Saturday Night Live or something like that. On Ellen, one of them shows. But I I was thinking why didn't he make that a single? But I understand why he didn't why he didn't do it. He wasn't he didn't want you to have that preconceived notion about this album. This is not gonna be one of those uh 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 trendy uh um you know normal sounding albums that you hear from Lecrae. This is gonna be something different. It's gonna be a different style body of work, and I and I like that. Um, only human with BJ the Chicago Kid. That song. It's dope too. I enjoyed that track too, man. I enjoyed that track too. It was a good, it was, it was, it was a it was a good one. It was a good one. And I'm trying to do this review without talking and without saying what he talked about because you know I I want y'all to hear it. And I and if you haven't heard it already, and I don't want to talk too much about his content, but he really gave he really gave a different Lecrae. I, we've, I haven't, you know, I haven't heard of Lecrae like this. I think the closest that, you know, I believe Lecrae was to this is when he dropped the Church Clothes 1. Church Clothes 2 wasn't even like this. I think Church Clothes 1, he got way more um, transparent with it. I, you know, I'm going to make, you know, what I want to make. I felt like that is when he kind of like people say that he sold out and did all that, but nah, the man just excuse me, excuse me. He just got different with his music. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, you start as an artist. You know, you should always be growing as a person. Period. Just, just as a human, you should be growing. Just as a human, and as an artist, you can only reflect and and and, and display what you know, what you've been through. So if you're growing as a human, you know what I'm saying? You're an artist, your art, your work is going to reflect that. 
Lecrae is not a rapper. Lecrae is hands down an artist to me. Like, and that, you know, a couple of guys I think are artists. John Keith, I believe that dude is an artist. Like hands down, I believe that 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 he moves in an artist vein. He's not just like a rapper. You know, an artist creates, um, and they pull you into their body of work and, and their music. To me, an artist is a person that creates with music, with substance, storytelling. Um, they can like paint this whole picture with just their words and what they're creating. They can bring you into this and, and make you feel certain things. They're not just a rapper, just saying things that sound cool. You know what I'm saying? The artist can pull you in, engaging, make you feel things. Um, so I believe that with this, he displayed his full artistry. You know, this is who I am. This is what I'm creating. Um, I want to hear more of Lecrae like this. I really hope that going forward, this is what he 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 drops like this from here on out. Um, just as an artist, I don't believe that this was um, a simple or easy project to pull out. I'm not gonna say that he struggled with it, but I'm just saying from an artist standpoint, he really went in and dug in. That was tough. Last track, man. Nothing left to hide, and I think he did drop this. Gwen Bun was the feature on this. I, I wanted to play it. This track is actually what caught my attention to the album. And this is, this track, the last track is my favorite on the album. It is my favorite song. Next to Restore Me, which is the first one, which is weird, right? Um, but this song, oh my gosh. I'm just, nothing left to hide. And that that's why I feel like Lecrae is is, is 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 nothing left to hide. That's why I feel like Lecrae is like he opened up on this project. Like majority of the time you hear Christian artists, it's always from a different vantage point and and they're this and God did this and they're over it and boom boom, it's just free and all of that. But if you're a human and you live in life, you know life ain't always like that. You know, you you go through it, you move through it, you have transitions, you might not be all the way feeling like like that at this moment so it's just like he and, and he gave us that and i love that because you could relate more to it you know you could relate more to it it was so relatable and i think that's the reason why it resonated with me so hard um but nothing left to hide i was in the car and i go to youtube uh, and i see that lecrae dropped a song the the lyrical video the lyric video to this 10 hours ago when i got when i was there it said 10 hours and i was like lecrae dropped what? So I, I, Lecrae dropped. I like Lecrae. I'm a fan. And so I listened to it. And I'm like, yo. Then another video comes up, suggested. He dropped another one 10 hours ago. And I was like, he dropped two back to back? And then I was like, oh, he did say he was dropping an album. Lecrae dropped the album. So then I go listen to it. And I'm like, yo, I'm copping it. So uh, my review. Um, he gets 10 out of 10 Daniels. Uh, that's my rating system. Daniels. 10 out of 10 Daniels he gets. Um, and, uh, you know, that's what he gets. It was a dope project from um, the artwork to track list, um, the feature selection. He, he had good features. Feature selection was dope. I really did appreciate this body of work. Made me go out and, 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 and buy it. Um, I support. I like to support. If someone's doing something that I like, I like to support. I'm an artist myself, so I like to support great work. Um, and this was a great body of work. He wasn't just putting out an album just to drop something. He, you could tell that he really cared about what he was dropping. I can hear it. I can feel it. I appreciate it. If you have heard it, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you'd like to review, um, give this thing a thumbs up, share it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Follow the page. Um, and yeah. What's that review next? Who dropped something that you like that made you feel it and you want me to check it out? I check it out no matter what genre it is. I'll give it a listen and I'll tell y'all what I think about it. So appreciate y'all for watching the video. Um, peace.